What is up everybody? Welcome to uh, a little bit of a video where I'm going to be talking about our Chaos Draft Packs. Uh, if you follow us on Instagram, ooh, wait, uh, 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 autofocus, there we go. Uh, if you follow us on Instagram, you saw me post these uh, yesterday, I believe, uh, where um, I, I got the packaging in for it and I was really, really excited about it. So I just thought I'd go ahead and post it up. Uh, but I wanted to kind of explain what it is and like our plans for what this is. Uh, because a lot of people were asking, you know, do you plan on, you know, selling these in your online store or is this just something for fun? Uh, I kind of want to talk specifically uh, what it is first though. So it is a chaos draft pack. Um, it's kind of a repack uh, for lack of a better term. Um, somebody actually commented on that post and kind of said like, hey, how is this not a repack? And technically you're right. I mean, it's repacking old cards. So of course it is. But uh, the way that we did this, it was inspired by uh, the mystery booster packs. Uh, when those were released, I thought it was really, really cool because it was a huge, huge card pool. Uh, and the pack structure was defined, but you could pretty much get anything in there. And I thought that, you know, it'd be really cool to be able to do that for real uh, with your own collection or with, you know, bot cards or whatever you wanted to do. Uh, and so I actually have, uh, if I can hold it up again, hopefully the autofocus will work. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. You can kind of see what's in there. Um, so... Uh, to kind of read this off, so what this includes is two random white, blue, black, red, and green cards. So that's two of each color. Uh, that can be any rarity, that can be any card. Uh, as, as far as, you know, what I did basically, is I essentially went to Scryfall and hit random card and then just kind of filled in the blanks with these and then I bought those cards. Uh, one random multicolor card, one random artifact card, and one random land card. Uh, again, any rarity. Uh, one random guaranteed rare or mythic card, uh, and then one actual foil card. So it's a very similar pack structure to what you would see just opening a random booster pack. Uh, and in fact, the mystery booster in particular is very similar. Uh, and so I, I essentially did exactly like I said, I went to scryfall.com, just hit random card a number of times until I could fill in essentially every slot. If I doubled up too much on a slot, I would just skip over because obviously I have so many slots that I can fill and that's it. Uh, and then I bought those, and so I've got, you know, 15 maybe uh, of these little chaos draft packs that I've kind of put together with cards that I bought. Uh, and the thought came along uh, to kind of break the fourth wall a little bit. Uh, the, the thought came along when Will and I kind of discussed these, because this is just a fun format for us. That was how it started. Uh, my fiance and I have played, and like it's just been a really fun thing to do. Um, but that was it. Like, that was the only idea. It's basically a super chaos draft where instead of getting just a pack of, you know, Legion and a pack of Ravnica and whatever, you could get literally any, you get mixture of cards throughout the pack. Uh, and that was kind of the idea was just to make it a really, really crazy, stress-free, kind of pressure-free chaos draft, which I think is really fun because I like drafting. Um, and so the packaging thing was really just like a, a played with idea where... We thought maybe it would be fun to sell these in our store, but we don't really want to be stepping on people's toes. We also don't want to have the stigma of we're selling repacks because obviously for good reason, there's a lot of, you know, speculation on repacks and stuff like that. That was mainly a few years ago, but like that still goes on and people can really, really jit people with repacks and we certainly don't want to do that. I mean, if we're, if we're selling something, we want there to be some value to it. Otherwise, what's the point in selling it? Uh, I, I think that there's no point. I mean... Look, looking at things from a business standpoint, you do have to keep in mind that on our end, if we're selling anything, of course that we, we're doing that because, you know, once we sell a certain number, we are kind of trying to recoup a little bit of that money and hopefully, you know, reinvest it in the channel, do something like that. But this isn't some, this is kind of a weird place where like the value of the pack could change because it is completely random. I mean, I could sell you a pack, for instance, for $5. Well, that card or that pack might have a $20 card in it or it might have just quarter cards in it or penny cards in it and it's like well I don't want to do that because I don't I don't really want to make people feel bad for buying a product like if, if they buy a product there needs to be some expected value uh, and having a rare or a mythic you would think kind of inherently makes that a little bit easier but the reality is there's a lot of rare mythics out there that are not worth anything and so I, I feel weird about selling something like this. Um, I, I'm putting this video out there for two reasons, though, and I, I really think that this is important. One, it's just to explain what this is and tell you that 
I think it's really, really fun to create new formats on your own and just kind of play around with stuff on your own. This isn't necessarily something that from scratch we created. It was very much based off the mystery boosters, but it's a fun thing to do. And I think that, you know, if you've got an idea for a format or if you've got, you know, just whatever it might be, just try it. Just why not? Uh, this was a really easy thing for me to try, just given that we have like a fairly substantial uh, paper collection. Uh, and so it's it's kind of nice to be able to just try new things and see what happens. So one, it's to encourage you to do that kind of thing, because I think that that's really important. Uh, that's where a lot of like Commander uh, came from, was just people trying stuff out. And I think that that's fun. Uh, or EDH, whatever. Uh, but anyway, second thing was to kind of gauge interest, because um, I, I do think that, you know, if this is something that you guys are interested in, um, then be aware. I, I wanted to get my thoughts out there so that way you guys kind of know where I am at with it. But I also wanted to gauge your interest and see, you know, is this something that you're interested in? If it is, that's great and maybe we'll consider it uh, a little bit more heavily. As it stands now, it's not really something that we were intending to sell out. I think it's really fun to do that and we did. I mean, you can see, like, again, we put our logo on it, if if it'll autofocus, sorry, it's autofocusing on my face. Uh, if we, you know, we put our logo on it, we put like our little website on it and stuff like that with the intention of, well, maybe this is something we could sell. Um, but it's not really the intended purpose. Autofocus, you can do it. There we go. <laughs> A little bit slow. Um, Anyway, and so that was just, I, I wanted to just get this out there so that way if you guys do have a lot of interest in something like this, then you can let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Hopefully it's something you are interested in, uh, and in that case, we'll definitely consider something. But uh, until then, and until we know that there's some interest out there, we probably won't. Um, only because, I mean, think about it this way, so each one of these little boxes itself, uh, because we you have to bulk order these, so we had to invest some amount of money into just the boxes. Then you have to pay for the cards. So now the problem becomes, we're selling you 15 cards, but on top of that, we have to pay for the packaging, and so we're gonna have to mark it up a little bit, and then on top of that, if we wanna make it sustainable, we have to mark it up just a little bit more. That's unfortunately just how finances and business work. Uh, and so that's not something that I really want to do when it's something that you could do with your own collection Which is part of why I wanted to explain it for you guys uh, The packaging's cool and it's fun and it's exciting for me because I love designing stuff being in graphic design is fun for me But like that's just the reality of it uh, And so if we wanted to make it sustainable, we'd obviously have to mark it up at least a little bit So we're making some money back um, But I don't know. I just wanted to be very candid with you guys and kind of open uh, and let you know that, you know, this is just kind of a, a silly idea format that I happen to have after the mystery boosters. But if you want to try silly formats, do do it. It's fun. Uh, and then, of course, you know, let me know if you're interested. I, I think it's fun. It's cool. But like, I don't know that this is something that I really feel comfortable selling in the store. Uh, what we could do, uh, and we have talked about this, is... Uh, in addition to the 15 cards, you get, you know, either some some backup proxies of like some of the space lands or something along those lines to kind of give it a, a, a more tailored feel to something that we've done uh, and hopefully add a little bit more excitement to it. Um, and maybe we'll do that. I don't know. Uh, I just kind of think that, you know, I, I don't want to jip people. That's my thing. And so I feel a little weird about selling it. But anyway, let me know your interest. I hope you guys appreciated this video. It's a little bit random and a little bit uh, un unscripted, I guess you could say. But uh, hopefully you found it interesting. Uh, if you did, of course, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Please make sure to let us know if you are interested in something like this. Maybe we can uh, get something going. So that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about today. Hopefully we'll have some gameplay later on. So I hope you're looking forward to that. Uh, but thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.